Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 53 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Alright, so we'll continue on our perilous journey through the spider host here that looks like an Aztec temple of some kind. I don't know, I always like the ar architecture and colors in here. It's very suave or something. something oh, hello. <laughs> oh. It's just like, oh, by the way. Okay, no, don't. I didn't mean to drop down, but I guess I can. Yeah, this one's on the floor, I know, but I just don't feel like walking all the way over there, man. Too far. Too far. Okay, and... Uh, nothing? Nothing, are you sure? Oh, I guess. Why not? <laughs> that sentence didn't make sense. Are you sure? I guess. Why not? If anyone can tell me what that sentence means, then... Good fucking job, I guess. <laughs> Alright, uh, this soft oil patch is nothing, you don't have to do anything with it because it's on the ground. And this room in here, I think I remember this, yup, this was the room that stumped me to no end when I first did this freaking sculptural house. Well, first off, there's a sculptural right there, and there's, I think there's another one slithering along in the grass around here somewhere. Um, they show themselves just, like brief periods of time out in the open. If this one would just do that, then that would be nice. Um. Okay, I know it's here. Come on. Don't fool. Oh, there it is. Okay, thank you. Alright. And there's also going to be some of these beehives here. I think this is... I'm pretty sure that's the only one that actually has a sculpture in it, though. I still can't slash that thing while it's bouncing. Thank you. Uh, collect the token. Thank you. <laughs> that was stupid. Alright, and these ones. These ones are probably going to be the ones that confuse you. You'll see, like, these three sculptures up in the tree, and you'll be like, okay, well, maybe I can just shoot that to get it. No. Oh, well, maybe if I get the right angle. No, there's no right angle that you can possibly get to hit that. So I think maybe bombs. I don't have any bombs. I would demonstrate this fact if I did have bombs, but throwing one will not work. And maybe I can use a Deku nut to flash them down. BAM! That doesn't work either. Maybe I can use a fire arrow and, like, burn them. That doesn't work either. Maybe I can hit this and it'll tell me something about it. And it'll just tell you the time. So, well, 42 hours and 8 minutes remaining. So you're probably thinking now, what the hell am I supposed to do to get those things down or to get up to them? And why is this tree so big and square? Well, the answer to all your questions is, you just gotta roll into the tree. I said, you just gotta roll into the tree. And they just kinda bounce down like that. There you go. That's the simple answer to this puzzle. I don't even think that rolling into the tree actually gets them down. Because, like, in real life, that would never actually work. I think that they just, like, see you trying all this shit. Like, they're, like, seeing you hookshot and you fire arrows and... Then they see you start banging your head into a tree, and they just they just feel bad for you, and they're like, you know what, let's just give them a break, and they just hop down. It really has nothing to do with it, what you did. They're just being nice. Alright, please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you. I don't want to. Okay. And I think... Yeah, we only have eight more, which is actually kind of surprising. Alright, there's going to be one in here, I know that much. Hey, okay. come on. Thank you. Alright, and there's actually going to be another sculpture house later on in the game. Uh, well, you could you could actually access it now, but I'm going to wait until later for certain reasons. Um, and, uh, what am I trying to say? That one's actually a lot harder, if I remember. And I'm not, on that one, I'm actually not going to look up the guide, even though, because, I don't know. Maybe I'll look up the, a guide for it or something. But I don't think I will because I think it'll be funnier if I don't. I'll just be like wandering around looking for one more. And I won't be able to find it. It'll just be, I don't know. You guys probably find that stuff hilarious. And that's exactly why this video is not funny. Alright, so there's going to be one more over here. Yep. Oh, I totally hit that. Thank you. Alright, there's still one more in here somewhere, apparently. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck you. Okay, I'll just hop down for that one. 
I guess. Makes it infinitely easier, I guess. Yeah, see, you're going for all these, like, secretive hidden ones and, like, crates and, uh, on top of the, like, stone slabs and shit. And you just forget about the ones that are out in the open, just, like, hanging on walls. It's like, hey, yeah, I'm just hanging here. You don't have to notice me, whatever. Alright. Yeah. I, I honestly don't know what this house is, like, like. I think it's, like, supposed to be an Aztec thing, because I know that this bird symbol here, that is something related to Mayan or Aztec culture. I think there's like a symbol of it that's drawn in the earth somewhere and it's like you can see it from space and it's really awesome that's what I remember at least okay that's what I remember from watching the discovery channel yeah I'm a nerd what of it okay just two more and I'm pretty sure I know where they both are actually amazingly there's one right there I think you're not actually supposed to use the hookshot to get thrown, you're supposed to use the Deku flowers or something. That's the guide to hold me anyways. Alright. And we're just going to want to head across to this side. And the last one is going to require our final bottle of bugs, I believe. So we'll just head on over here and, yep, show sure enough. There's another soft soil thing in the wall. And let's just get our camera blocked by the pots. Or by the pot, rather. Where's that one going? <laughs> that one was just climbing off on... Oh. I don't know. They just kind of came together in like a T formation there. To head in. No, don't do that. Stop doing that. Alright. And that makes 30. Da 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 da. The curse has been lifted. And once the curse is lifted, I guess we'll go talk to this guy out here. And look at that. The curse has definitely been lifted. Oh my god. You asshole. Forgot it was a Deku scrub. Alright. Oh, I've been saved. I thought I was going to die. You see, a while back, someone told me that I could become rich and he gave me this mask. He said that the instructions were described somewhere in here, but when I went to look, I was cursed. Okay, there's a few problems with that, but I'll roll with it. If I had known it, I would have been such a... If I had known it would be such an ordeal, I never would have taken it. Here, take it. It's yours. And we get the Mask of Truth, which basically serves the same purposes in the last game. With one additional thing, you can see the thoughts of animals. Alright, I've had enough of this. As soon as I get it together, I'm going home. Yeah, I'm sure you'll go home and you'll think that you're about to live a lo lovely life, but then I'll need to play the song time and you'll be fucked again. Alright, so, yeah, like it said, you can use this to talk to gossip stones like in the previous game, but you can also use it to hear the thoughts of animals, so... Ruff, if I, I've had it with this foolish master! What's a racing dog like me supposed to do in a place like this? Oh, how I miss the ranch. Yep. So basically, you can hold any little dog over your head, like little dick or whatever. And you can basically read its mind. And this is useful for one particular minigame, and I'm sure that you all know exactly which minigame I'm talking about. And that's also the final mini thing that... Er, well, I guess the final minigame, but also the final thing that I want to do before ending off this episode. Alright. Uh, I know I was talking about something, and I just got sidetracked. Oh, I was talking about that guy's, like, freaking... the story, like, of how he came across the Mask of Truth or whatever. Alright. Um, I know this is kind of really off-topic now. What am I looking for? Uh, this thing. But, um, he said that, like... Someone gave him this mask, and oh damn it, the thing's not open. All right, screw it. I'll just play it, the song a oh, double time. Reach the third day. All right. Yeah. So like I'm trying to say, he said that someone was giving him this mask and telling him like that he could get rich from it. How would you get rich from that from that mask? Just possession of that mask. Like I guess he thought that the mask of truth would help him see the truth in the treasure or something of that building find the ancient Aztec treasure spoken of the legend of Termina but I don't know it just doesn't make any sense to me alright dawn of the final day oh my god we're gonna see the apocalypse again no okay Tingle didn't have a balloon there for a little bit in that opening cutscene oh so we're gonna head back into Romani Ranch where since we weren't there, the catastrophe has taken place, and 
uh, Romani was abducted by aliens, I guess. And we're going to want to head all the way to the back of the ranch, of course. Could just cut this trip out, but I don't want to. I might just speed it up, which is why I'm talking like a robot. Okay. And we're back here at, uh, Mamoru's, or... No, it's not Mamoru. That guy's Mega Man Battle Network 3. It's Mama Yan or something. Yeah. Mamayu, Mamamu Yan's doggy racetrack. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and bet this time. But this time, we got an ace up our sleeve. Or rather, on our face. You know, get your face out of my place. Alright. My four paws feel lighter than usual today. I don't know if that's like the message that you're supposed to get from it. Today I should do pretty well. Alright. I'm gonna keep this guy around, because he seems if his paws are like lighter than usual, then that might be a sign of something good to come. Basically you need to find the like read these dogs' minds and find the right one, because one of them is gonna like tell you that it wants to win. Or something. Alright. Uh, oh, my belly hurts. Oh, I feel terrible. Okay, not you. Alright, I'm just gonna cut this out and see if I can find the right one. Alright, guys, I think I might have found one. It says, Today, I feel like I can win. So, I'm not sure if I should take this one, but you know what? He feels like he can win, and I, I'm inclined to believe him. I don't know. So, let's just take him. We got two shots of this, and because we can do bets of 50 rupees. Or, we'll want to do bets of 50 rupees, because there's no point in doing anything else. Alright, let's see if I've picked a winner this time, because this minigame kicked my ass the last few times I tried it. Alright, oh, dude, you thought you could win. Come on. I know you got it in you. You've got the power. Nintendo power. Oh, does he, does he really? He's catching up. I don't know, he might have this. Holy crap, look at him go. Holy shit, yes. No. No. Damn it. Well, he came in third. That's better than nothing. Okay, so it's not the one that feels like it can win. It's the, the straggler. It's the one that feels like it will win? I don't know. Alright. Oh, almost. Well, I'll give, I'll give back the... Yeah. Uh, give back the amount of money I put down. Okay. Whatever. I'm here for my wife and child. There's no way I'll lose. That sounds like a winner to me. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I feel unstoppable. I don't think I'll lose. He's confident. I admire that. Let's take him. Alright, here we go. Is this doggy fine? Oh, no. I don't want to... I don't want to bet zero rupees. That'd be pointless. Alright, come on, dude. You're not the one that's doing it for his wife and kids, but... You'll do, I suppose. Right in the middle, too. Look at that. Alright, oh, damn! He's really comp- Oh, that blue one. But that blue one, wasn't he like the one that was too old for it or something? I don't know. Jeez, this dog sits a- He's a tank! Oh, no. He's falling behind a little bit. Come on! Come on, buddy! You can do this! I believe in you. Okay, no. Apparently, you can't do it. But you came in fourth, I guess that's pretty good. But it's also the second time in a row that the golden dog is won, so I don't know, I might have to check him out. I feel like I can win. Alright, I'm just betting it on the golden dog because he won last two. Which would be a perfect, re perfectly good reason for why he won't win this one, I guess, I don't know. But he said he feels like he can win, so... We'll see him. Prove, prove that you know you can win. Oh, fuck you. Okay. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen enough. I know. Okay, you're an underdog. I get it. Oh boy. Oh holy shit. Look at that dog go. Run, run. Yes, you're in first. You're in first. Keep it, keep it. Come on, come on. Oh my god. Oh um, yes, yes. Frick yeah! Thank you, finally. After so much... Uh, so much failure in the hands of defeat at this minigame. 
I finally win it. Hallelujah. N nice going. You've won over 150 rupees, so I have to give you a bonus prize, too. Piece of freaking heart. Well deserved. Alright. Do you want to play? Hell no. Thank you and good night.